hi guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl anika coming to you with another video and in this video i am planning in my fobonichi aka happy nichi and now it has another name the skinny classic happy planner so let's see what i have in store for you in this video but first if you would like to be a part of my creative team click that red subscribe button Hit that notification bell so you will not miss any of my uploads. Comment below because your girl love to hear from you. And give me that thumbs up if you enjoy this video. Okay guys, I'm showing you my 2020 planner. Have y'all seen that video? If not, please go over. I will have it in the cards. So don't forget to check that video out. So I'm going to plan for the close out of November and going into December. This is the last month I decided that I'm going to use um, Ponsetta. So I printed those out, cut them on my silhouette and I'm going to just talk you through some of this plan with me, but I just want to share a little, um, little something, something with you guys. When I thought about closing out of November and coming into December, I thought about all the things that has made me upset or made me sad, made me happy, and all of the things. So in December, I want this month to reflect joy. So I decided that in my faith planner, I'm going to do the word joy. And I'm going to do this theme for December in my Fobonichi. It's a wonderful time. And I want to reflect that. And it is. When you look at everything, people are more happy in December because they're closing out this month. Did I say September? I mean, December. I hope I said December. I don't know. But anyway, December. Majority of people are happy in December. And they are much nicer. You know, and that's the thing. It's like we need to bathe in those moments, okay? Because, you know, it won't last always. And that's the thing. In our lives, we know we're going to have ups and downs. So one thing that I've learned, that when things are good, I rejoice. When things are bad, I say this too shall pass. But it is the most wonderful time of the year. So I wanted to really let that reflect in. And I wanted to see it every time I open my Fobonichi, that page to remind me it is the most wonderful time in the year. And in November, I am thankful for everything and thankful for the people that follow me on Instagram, people that follow me on Facebook, people that are following me and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. I tell you days when I want to give up and say I don't want to do this anymore, I always get the greatest comments. Thank you guys so much for just following me. Um, you know, it's not like that I'm making like a thousand dollars on YouTube because I'm not. You know, the thing that is so funny about YouTube is, yeah, you have to have a lot of subscribers. I only have, what, um, 1,675, I think that's what I have as of today. I don't know because I don't know if anybody fell off or just decided to unsubscribe or whatever, but it's okay. I wanted to make sure, like on my Instagram page and my Facebook, YouTube that I get 20 not 20 I'm gonna say 20,000 2,000 subscribers by the end of because I want to go in 2020 with 2,000 subscribers 
So that was that is my goal. And I don't know. I may get it. I may not. I guess I have to put out videos every day, which I know that's not going to happen. But I'm just thankful. If I if I make my goal, I'm good. If I don't make my goal, guess what? I'm good. Then I have to work a little harder. So as I close out November right now, I am thankful for everybody that just take the time to watch my videos and not skip through the ads and because that's how our youtubers get paid is looking at the ads and I'm I'm trying not to put so many ads because at first I thought I was supposed to put a lot of ads but I'm coming to realize that I don't have to put that many ads in my um video but I do want to say that this is how YouTube tubers get paid by looking at the ads by views and people who are not just skipping the ads and stuff like that and one thing I've learned that in other videos because I like to support other people who are monetized and not even monetized I like to watch any planner babe that um that I'm interested in And the thing with that is I try to support wherever I need to support. And I've learned over, I I can't remember who, I think it was, I can't remember who I was listening to. And they were saying how it doesn't, if you don't want to watch the videos, go to the bathroom at that time. You know how you watch TV and, um, and the commercial come on and sometimes you'll change your channel or whatever. That is my time to actually go to the restroom, you know, tend to something that the kids want me to read or whatever, or do something else and then go back to it and not just skip over or click or whatever. I mean, that's how people get paid. Now, of course, you know, some YouTubers get over a thousand dollars. And they have 30,000, 40,000, you know, and how things are getting ready to change in the YouTube world. So, you know, I don't know who's going to stay and I don't know who's going to leave. But you know what? I haven't been on YouTube a year yet. March 5th will be my year. And I'm just still grateful for just the people that just say okay I'm going to click that red subscribe button and I want to see what she's going to create this week or next week now I've just seen a video from E. Michelle and it's about consistency and I haven't been consistent in the last couple of weeks I think since I've been working so I need to regroup and say what days that I'm going to actually put out a video and that's what I'm working on Um, and that's what I'm going to do starting January 1st, because I'm not going to say December. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's not like I get paid a whole lot. Okay. You have to have a hundred dollars in order to be giving a check. So, and that's okay. So one thing about it is I need to be dig deep into my creativity and that's what I want to focus on in 2020 of bringing you really good content um, making my channel a little bit better and focusing on different things and not it's hard for me not to do voiceovers Um, when I'm home I can do voiceovers but sometimes you have so much going on it's okay to do a voiceover and that's what I believe but anyway I can go on and on and on. As you know, I'm very talkative when it comes to my YouTube channel. And I just want to say thank you so much for um, just sticking with me. And all the comments and have meant the world to me. So as we close out being thankful in November... We're going to make December the most wonderful time in our lives. The best is yet to come. 
Thank you guys so much. Take care. See you in the next video. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.